Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Patek Solutions. In this video, uh, we are going to cover up the basics of MATLAB. Okay. I'm going to uh, explain how to start MATLAB and how to write a simple uh, if loop, for loop, while loop and switch case statements and how to create your own functions and what is breakpoint and uh, what is the use of breakpoints and how to keep breakpoints and how to debug the program. Okay. I'm going to I uh, explain the difference between the live script and the M5 and we are going to uh, write a simple example program for all the loops. Okay. I hope you will have a great learning. Let's go for the session. So the first thing uh, you have to do is to change the path. Okay. So I just opened MATLAB and uh, the first thing you have to do is to change the path. I create a folder called demo okay i just copy the path okay and i'm going to change the path of the matlab so uh, it has to be done because all the programs in matlab all the programs you have to store only on this folder if the program is not here then MATLAB will search for its root path. Okay. So if you have the program either on the current working folder or it has to be on the root path. So only then it will work. So if you have, if you keep the files at somewhere and try to run the program, it won't work. So the first thing is to change the path. So I just copy this path. I just go for MATLAB. Okay. This window is called command window. You just type CD. Is, is change directory and you just paste the path okay this one or you could right click and paste the path here both the thing are same okay you could either change the path here or you just type change directory single quotes you paste the path here and press enter and this is called current folder so all the, whatever the files which is stored in the current working folder will be displayed here okay the details of this current working folder will be displayed here so uh, I have a, I just read an image. Okay. Uh, so cameraman.tiff. So this is the image which is stored in the uh, root directory. Tiff stands for tag image file format. So I just store the image. Okay. Test.bmb on the current working folder. So if you check on the left hand side, uh, you could see the image, you click the image, it displays the image as well as it displays the width and height of the image. Okay. So this is the editor window. If you just type edit in the command window, you could open the editor window. Command window is used to type single lines of program or to run the program. Okay. So the output will be displayed on the command window. Uh, if you just type edit in the command window, it will open up the editor window where you will be writing the programs. MATLAB has its own syntax. As like C program, uh, MATLAB has its own syntax. On the right hand side, you have workspace. Okay, just like a temporary memory. So whatever the variable you read or which is used in the program, it will be stored on the workspace. Only if, if the uh, variable is there in the workspace, it will work. Okay. Once you close this MATLAB window, uh, the workspace variable will go off okay it's just like a temporary memory and this is command history so what are the commands which you type here it will be there in the command history okay so uh, as like uh as like uh c there is no declaration bracket here like integer or float you could just type a equal to five uh to store the value five on the variable a so if you check workspace, you get you could see a equal to five here. Okay. You just type who's like that displays the uh, size like the class. Okay. So for array declaration, you could type a equal to uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this is array declaration. For matrix declaration, you could type one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Okay. So this is matrix declaration. Uh, you could do array uh, manipulations and you could matrix 
operations like matrix addition, matrix multiplication, matrix division, everything is possible. Uh, it supports all the operators from C, okay, addition and division and everything. And so if you if you want to index any any of the value from the matrix like B equal to A of 1 comma 1 uh, will get the value of the first element 1 comma 1 element. Okay. So if you want to type edit as a program, you just open edit. Okay. So A equal to I just type A equal to 1 to 10 a matrix CLC for clear screen on the clear screen in the command like CLC for clearing the command window clear for clearing the workspace close all to close all the programs which was open on the previous program okay so I, I have just stored this program as example one okay a equal to one to ten so it means the value of a is uh, one two three four five six step okay if you check the value of a if you want to give the increment value like a equal to 1 to 10 so it increments the value by 2 okay a equal to 1 3 5 7 one. so it's just an array declaration so i put 0 0.2 here so the increment value is by 0.2 okay so b equal to sine of a plot of a comma b I save this program and run this program. So you could see the sign plot here. Okay. So if you want to, if uh, like C equal to uh, cos of A. Okay. So plot of A comma C. We just type hold down to plot on the same uh, figure. If you check now, so this is the cos of A. So, uh, plot if you want to give the color of this one, like we just give red, and for this, you could choose the green. Okay. So, there are a lot of plot properties, uh, like line width is there, like uh, line width, okay, line width of 3. So, if you check now, this is it changes the line width, okay. So, uh, you could type x label for x axis, x label for x axis, okay, and y label for y axis. Okay, x label for x axis and y label for y axis, and title if you want to give title, like you could give the title here. Okay, just a title and G text to place text anywhere on the graph. Okay, anywhere on the graph. So I save this program and I hit the run button. So I could place the text anywhere on this graph. Okay. So I just repeat the program. Okay, I have put CLC for clear to clear the command window and clear for variable clear on the workspace if i choose and if i avoid this selection like it clears the workspace close all to close all the figures on the previous program so i have declared an array so this is the increment value okay so sign of a plot of a comma b this is the color and line with gives the width of the line and c equal to pass of a hold on to plot the graph on the same plot and x label of axis to x axis and y label for y axis and for title to give the title for the plot and g text to place text anywhere on the graph okay. so this is a simple program uh, you could save it as an m file so if you see this file like ksb is a temporary file okay ex1.m is the file okay so if you want to keep breakpoints, you just click this icon here so that the program stops here. Like that's a that, this red color uh, icon is called a breakpoint, which is used to stop the execution of the program. Okay, I hit the run button, so the program stops there. 
I could debug the variable here. Like I could check b equal to the value of if you want to see the value of b. I put the cursor on a. It shows the value of value of value of b. I put the cursor on b. It shows the value of b. Okay. So uh, I hit the run button. Like put the cursor on c. It shows the value of c. Okay. So okay. So this is a simple program to for plot for subplots like uh, I just comment this line hold down okay so I type subplot of one comma two comma one okay. so subplot of one comma two comma one I just copy this one subplot of one comma two comma two okay so this will plot uh, like it plots two plots on the same figure you could use subplots like this number you could change it means one rows and two columns and this is the first index of the image one rows and two columns this is the second image of the image i will update about subplots on much more on the upcoming videos so as of now you just take down this one okay so so let's go for the next program okay how to uh how to uh create a function how to create a function i just type uh you just go for new script okay click new script click new function okay you got a function here i'm just going for addition and multiplication program so these are the input arguments the right hand side is in input arguments i'm going to have take two input arguments and the output argument is one output argument okay so i just type c equal to a plus b so when you save this program the function name and the file name should be same okay i just repeat the function name and the file name should be same so if you type add of one comma three here so just displays the output okay 13 14 okay so i will create one more functions I just go for new function okay i just type this is multiplication again i'm going to have two input arguments and uh, one output argument okay c equal to a into b okay so this this function name the file name should be same i have stored this one now uh, i just create two program like a equal to five and b equal to six okay c equal to add of a comma b and d equal to multiplication of a comma b okay this is used to display on the command window to display the output on the command window so disp of c and disp of d okay example two okay so you hit the run button i save the program sorry I have to save this file as save as rename. I just rename this file as okay, there shouldn't be any special characters. So I run the I hit the run button. Okay. So you could check the output here on the command window. So addition is 11, 30. I change the 15, okay, 15 plus 6 is 21, and 15 into 6 is 90. Okay. So this is I'll show you how it works. I just keep a breakpoint at line number three and hit the run button. So it executes these two lines and it stops at this line. Okay. I press chip in to go inside the program. So it comes here and I just give step in like it calculates C equal to A plus B and it returns back to the main program. Okay. And just go inside this program, calculates the multiplication and it turns back to the main program. So the input arguments, you could have any number of input arguments and you could have any number of output arguments. Uh, but the key thing is you have to uh, save the function name and the file name should be same. Okay, there should not be any difference. Uh, it should be exactly the same. The file name should be the, the exactly the same as the function name. Okay, so, uh, so we have covered up the how to draw a plot. Okay. 
and how to use how to create functions uh in the next video we'll be covering up the loops if loop for loop while loop uh, switch case and uh, uh switch case statements okay so that will be covered up in the next video uh thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel and if you want to enroll the course matlab course i have provided the link in the description box and if you want to do a project in matlab uh, we have a lot of projects uh, on image processing as well as the machine learning and deep learning please go through the link in the description like that where you could find 100 best projects on image processing okay on machine learning as well as on deep learning using matlab hope it be great useful for you uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel thank you see you on the next video until then bye bye